Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2011 Ford F-150 Lariat four-wheel drive in white. Really nice looking truck. Excellent condition. You can see here it's got the chrome bumper, the chrome tow hooks. It's got the fog lights. From Ford steps there on the side has the 18 inch wheels looks like a brand new truck really tires look new almost new they got a lot of tread on them Especially ones in the front. You see here it has the backup sensors there on the bumper. It's got the towing package with the four way and seven way plugs there. It's got the dual exhaust with the chrome exhaust tips. Here's your little camera lens for the backup camera hidden under there. Now I'm going to go ahead and start it up. That's one of the features it has, is a remote start. And another cool thing is, open up this tailgate. You know, this has this bar right here. And let's see if I can do this one-handed here. This unlocks, lifts up locks in a place like that this comes out straight out comes down unfolds now you have a step that you can step right on into the back of the truck because it is a pretty tall truck so I'm going to try it out I'm going to hold it right here step right on up has it's pretty neat pretty neat way of getting in the back of the truck thought that was pretty cool folds up in there this locks back down securely so it's not rattling around and it goes up like that thought it was a pretty cool feature Take a look at this side. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the doors. Take a look in here. Here's the inside of the back door. You got some pockets there, bottle holder, speaker, nice wood grain, tan, brown combination nice th cool looking threshold with a simulation diamond plate perforated seats leather does have the child seat latch system this folds down you have armrest and let's see got little cup holders that stick out Underneath the seat, you do have a little bit of storage there. There's your uh, little funnel for your capless fuel design. You got a 110 volt plug there, regular outlet there, 12 volt. You got some vents, cup holders there. There's the fuel cap or the fuel capless design I guess you can say it does have power folding side mirrors here's the inside of the front door You've got a bottle holder huge pockets there at the bottom there's your speaker window controls door lock controls side mirror controls as well as the power folding feature there's your a whole bunch of adjustments for the seats as well as a preset 
these switches are aftermarket and they don't appear to do, hook up to anything right now so um, they're just added on there I guess you can use them as auxiliary uh, switches if you need it and you do have an automatic set setting here on the headlights power adjustable pedals you can adjust in and out with this button here pedals will go in and out front seats are perforated leather and they are heated and cooled go ahead and hop in here now since I use remote start I still have to use the key and turn everything on down a little bit the radio down a little bit put my seat back pretty nice comfortable truck looks pretty good a lot of features good some back support too now here's the steering wheel we do have the uh, volume control on this side and your um, your Bluetooth settings as far as like comparing your phone you can uh, hang up or answer the phone there right here is your cruise control and these buttons here are corresponding to your menu here in the middle I'm going to go into information settings Go into gauge mode. Let's see, go back into gauge mode. Anyway, there's your menu right there in the middle of your gauges, and it is customizable. Here is your gauges. Really nice. It has like a soft blue, turquoise looking color to all the gauges. Really sharp looking. Steering wheel is like a nice firm leather wrap that's kind of just has a good good feel to it. You've got like a little place to put like a little table I guess you could say to put something up there. Right here you've got a information uh, as far as your your compass, digital compass, your exterior temperatures over there, you have a clock you have your temperature that you have it set on the inside hopefully the fans not interfering with the camera but then you down with well, the center stack here is your radio it starts off with your radio and um, you come down here you can see you have Sirius satellite radio you have auxiliary it does have Microsoft sync I'll show you that in a second here's your climate control do you have dual zone Heated and cooled seats, three stage, like so. Down here is your Microsoft Sync. You have the USB port and the and the uh, auxiliary input. There's a storage pocket there. Cup holders. Now I'm noticing there's a cigarette lighter in here, but I don't smell any kind of. I really have there's there's no smell like anybody's been smoking in this truck so I'm not sure why that's in there but it is in here pockets there there's your shifter and there's your cup holders you have a nice big center console here that opens up and you got some features here for different things pins and stuff this is a little tray that comes out and you got a nice big pocket there as well as a power supply in that corner got a little storage compartment there here here you have a 12 volt power supply over here there's your four-wheel drive controls you have an auto dim rear view mirror up here you got tap lights Get a place to put your shades right here looks like your microphone for your Bluetooth 
Right here is your garage door controls. And it does have a sunroof. Open that up and your controls are right here. Actually that far one on the right is for your back glass. Power back glass. And then the, the next one is for your sunroof. And then you can vent it like that. And it has a shade that closes it up in case you don't want to use it. Rear view mirror, for some reason has Velcro there. But there's the uh, mirror. This is the visor, I keep saying rear view mirror, but this is the visor, it has a mirror and a light. And it seems like it holds up just fine. I'm not sure why they put Velcro there, maybe to hold something else. This has the visor, has the mirror and the light on that side as well. Really sharp looking truck. And let's go ahead and look underneath the hood. And there you have it. If you have any questions, uh, my phone number and email address will be in the description. See you next time.